So this year, most of the, the mods I'm doing right before the season are more general maintenance and, and small improvements. Um, a lot of them are just little simple, easy tasks. I mean, I do have, um, I'm putting in a transom filler in there and that's actually gonna require a little bit of work and a little bit of uh, 4200 used on it. A lot of them are just little things, like sometime during our travels here, lost the pin for this on the, the way back from the lake, so I can't use the stern anchor with, with just that broken one. And so I have one that used to be on, uh, an anchor bolt that used to be on the bow anchor, and I'm just gonna add that onto here. Like I said, a lot of the mods are just little minor things that are easy to knock out. And I've got it secured here, and I'm not worried about its finger tight with, with the beveled threads on there. Um, I'll need a pliers to get this off to deploy the anchor, so pretty good, but of course it's something I always check whenever I've been trailering. Two things down. And I've got it. As long as I'm here, um, I bought replacement propane. We had to replace the propane at the end of the season, so I'm just doing an inventory real quick. Make sure I have, yep, there's the second propane bottle. I actually leave the tabs on there because it's easy to grab the tote propane bottle and pull it out. Close that back up, and I do have a wrench that's built for this in case I, I tighten it too tight. But I literally have pulled the trailer, the, the boat, oh, you know, probably 12 to 15,000 miles across the country, and these have never come out. I did lose one in the lake once, but that was another story. I also at one point had added this on there so I can pull this cap off there and just stick a, a uh, skewer or something in there to push out. Um, any propane bottles because sometimes the condensation, the heat and, and cooling and the, the bottles are n not all uniform in size, they might get stuck and it makes it easy to get them out. You know, we had it the Dodger last year and one of the things that we found was a pain with, the, with uh, rigging and de-rigging the Dodger is these screws and they're not even Phillips, they're a flat standard blade. But these screws are time consuming and I like to find any way I can to rig and de-rig faster. So I decided, okay, over the winter I would pick up some, some uh, pins for these to replace this. Problem is, is I have to make sure that the pins are, these are drilled out to handle the size of the pin because this is a lot narrower diameter. So here's the, the screws that, that hold on the, the Dodger frame. And these are the pins I picked up from Blue Water Yachts. And they actually, they, they said it for this, this um, that we're this uh, project so I gotta find a size that will fit that I did a few test drills just to figure out what size I needed and because initially it looked like quarter inch but quarter inch is a little bit too tight to actually use so I went to 764 and 764 is just a little bit too loose I'm not comfortable with that so what I'll end up doing is taking the quarter inch and either I'll, I'll Woggle the, the drill a little bit just to widen it slightly or more likely I'll get a small rat tail file and Open it up just slightly more so things fit with a rat tail file The other thing I'll have to make sure is that I increase the size of The the holes for the frames those are almost the right size. Oh, actually, they look like they'll fit. So that's good It's a very tough snug tight fit, but that's good. Yeah, a little bit too tight, but I don't want to go with a 764 bit, so I will get a rat tail file, and I'll take the rat tail file and just kind of hone it out a little bit so that this slides in there perfectly. And I'll do that on all six of the mounts. Like there's another one right there. So, take those off. Don't have those on. All right, so we decided that our cushions were very warm, and we always lay a towel on them. So I came across a picture somebody else had done using towels and so their cushions were rectangular ours are not obviously the mcgregor's are not so i had to do some modifying it but we created covers that can go on either one um, using a towel and elastic and then i just trimmed it we aren't sealing up this end because that's by the um, 
the seat, the helm seat. So we decided not to seal that, we'll just tuck it. But I made them so that we don't have to worry about which one goes on which side. They can fit either cushion. So they're also not super fitted at the end so that that can happen. It's gonna look good. One less headache. So our cushions are still the, the good uh, fiber tech or whatever fabric, so they still drain easy. The covers can come off easy. I'll make three total, so we have one extra. Cool. But it's gonna be nice. It's gonna look great. We still have them. Okay, this little pin here, I have lost it so many times and had to find it, and it takes a while to, to install it. So to speed this up, what I've done is uh, I've added the snap shackle from the, the rigging kit, the speed rigging kit from uh, Blue Water Yacht, and I tightened this down something fierce with the uh, pliers. I might even undo it and put some 5200 in there and then tighten it back down. But this way now I have this, it'll be fast to pull it and, and clip it on and speed up the rigging time just a little bit more. So the next piece is, this is on the boom vang. The last one I did was the uh, um, main sheet traveler. So this is the bottom of the boom vang and this clips onto, onto the, a little uh, tab on the base of the mast. It takes a little bit, I mean this is actually fairly fast, but this will be faster. So I'm gonna swap out this one with so this is the dagger board. Um, I had hit a, a cliff, a submerged cliff, the very last sail, um, almost right, I mean, very last bit. It's the first time I hit anything in Mark Twain, but I, it had ripped up the, the corner here and did some damage on it. So I re-glassed it, and I went ahead and put gel coat on top of it, and then I went through and, and put some, some yellow lacquer on it, just to be something different. And right now, I want to replace these, so I pulled the cap out of here and get ready to fish the two lines out. And then I bought brand new line, which I'll feed in there. So that was surprisingly difficult to get those out of there because it's just the one little hole and two holes on the end here where the ropes come through. So now we run some new lines in there, knot them, put the washers on them, knot them, pull them back through, and then I should be ready for remounting this. At one end, this is the uh, line that the safety line, in case the, the dagger board halyard breaks, this line is the one that keeps it from falling out the bottom of the boat. Got this one threaded. I did manage to get these out. I had to use pliers and really wedge it, and I found at one angle I could get them out. This one's done. This is the halyard line, so I'm going to get that set. I'll be ready, ready to uh, hang the dagger board. I'm currently dry fitting the uh, dagger board. Just put it back in. It's got new lines. I've got to measure out and make sure I have the right length on the the uh, retaining line and then the dagger board hired. I like your lights that you put on. <laughs>